clean, green New Zealand. What questions do you have for politicians to make? I ask you, what does your party think of social cohesion? Uh, does it matter to you? Kia ora everyone, we are here to share some experiences and questions. First, Rata, please introduce yourself. Thank you. Kia ora, thank you so much, Hamid. Um, I'm Rata, um, I'm a fourth year university student at Tora University Wellington. Um, I'm originally from Tūranganui Kiwa Tarafti, um, Gisborne. Um, and I'm a young person who's um, involved in a lot of different spaces in Wellington. I've been really fortunate to live here for a couple of years now. Um, and I am passionate about climate change. I'm passionate about um, refugee policies um, and policies related to inclusion um, and people's mental health, well-being, and just generally um, creating the world to be as safe, um, inclusive, um, and accessible as possible um, so that everyone gets what they need um, and just um, and involved in different spaces um, where that aroha can be shared and um, where we can create, create places for everyone to thrive. So it's a little bit about me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Rata. And please tell us what is your vision of the future? Well, my vision for um, a beautiful future for everyone would be um, a clean, green New Zealand um, that is open and accessible um, to people from all different communities and backgrounds, uh, where no matter what um, financial privilege you have, um, no matter what um, ethnic status you are or religion you have, um, no matter how big your family is or um, no matter what um, gender, um, race you are, any of those things, um, that you have access to clean water, um, green spaces, um, good public transport, um, that you feel safe and your voice feels listened to. I think it's incredibly important in this future. Um, I see a world in which people can work together, um, can rely on one, on one another, and we're um, all collaboratively um, building towards, um, towards peace and harmony, um, knowing that peace is possible, um, where our efforts aren't focused on division or um, harboring hatred or animosity towards um, different groups or communities where we're not um, fighting fighting wars or fighting over resources, but where we are optimistically and um, strategically thinking about how to best share our resources so that everyone is able to get what they need. Um, and I think that vision is possible. I believe that um, if we think um, thoughtfully and compassionately now, then we can create that Aotearoa and that planet, that um, planet Earth, where if we all focus on what unites us rather than what divides us, um, then this is possible. And if we live lives of aroha and connection, then that future is possible. So that's a long answer to my vision of the future. Thank you so much, Rata. And another question, what questions do you have for politicians to make this Aotearoa a reality? Well, um, I believe um, the, some of the key parts of this future um, or key parts to making this future happen are um, willingness to work with others. And I think social cohesion means a lot to me. I ask you, what does your party think of social cohesion? Um, does it matter to you? And if so, what policies do you have in place to, um, to implement that sort of thing? Um, secondarily, um, what are you doing about climate change? What are, you, what, are your, um, what are your party's policies around reducing emissions, both locally um, as well as nationally? Um, what long-term solutions do you have that will um, enable us to invest as economically wisely as possible for um, a long-term future um, that will um, have reduced emissions for this nation? Um, and also, how are you going to spread those costs equitably across New Zealand um, so that it's not just um, those who are hit hardest by climate change paying for the price of it? Um, what are your party's policies around hate speech? Um, how do you see um, conversations taking place around um, around inclusion, ethnic diversity and things like that um, and how are you navigating that both internally within your party and also um, in your policies for um, the nation. I'll just share a little story. So I'm from um, the East Coast and obviously they've been hit tremendously hard by um, flooding um, and issues around the climate there in the last couple of years, but actually it's been long-term issues um, in the East Coast. Um, particularly, we have um, cyclical seasons of droughts and flooding now, and that is happening and that's not going to stop. Those are the effects of climate change and those make it incredibly hard for communities there. And it is those who are most poor and vulnerable, um, poor and vulnerable being hit by the cost of that. They can't, people can't afford to, um, 
save their houses, their houses are uninsured, they can't afford to get enough food when um, everything is flooding and things like that. Um, there, is, there was a very poor um, disaster management um, response to that, in my opinion. Um, and I want to know what um, systemic changes is your party putting in place um, to both mitigate um, these um, these effects of climate change that are going to continue to happen, not just in the East Coast, but in all of New Zealand? Um, and what long-term investments are you putting in place um, to try and reduce the effects of climate change? Multiculturalism, inclusion and ethnic diversity are incredibly important. Um, uh, I'm from Gisborne and it's a um, bicultural place and it's a really, really beautiful experience to have um, to be around um, te reo Māori, um, to be around te ao Māori and to see um, a place where um, inclusion is really highly valued. Um, I think um, I think New Zealand needs to do that more, in my opinion, and I would love I would love to know what your party has to say about um, the inclusion of te, of te reo Māori particularly um, in Aotearoa New Zealand. Um, and also what your party's policies are around um, including other cultures. Um, we have an incredible number of cultures which um, which are absolutely thriving in New Zealand. How are these cultures being reflected both um, in your policies for um, the New Zealand that we're shaping? Um, and how important do you see um, multiculturalism um, for your, both yourself and your party? Wow, thank you so much, Rata, for sharing with us your question and experiences. Uh, and thank you for watching and listening. Kakite. <laughs>